Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Subnautica Below Zero. We have another objective, another architect artifact that seems to be up on the shore. And look, I came in here, and my rock puncher decided to appear. Hello, little rock puncher, and also my titan hole fish, which was the one that was up here in the corner, the, the egg that floated. I was assuming that that's what it was. Look at how cool he is. He's just like, uh, <laughs> he's just drifting along. Anyways, we've got objectives. We need to get going and find some new stuff. I'm gonna jump in here because we've got bladder fish for whoops, bladder fish for days. And we're gonna we're gonna get some water and make sure we don't die of thirst. That would be the most embarrassing thing to happen. <laughs> You'd have to be really stupid to die of thirst. Am I right, guys? Okay, we're all we're all full up on water. Let's see, what direction is that? It's west, almost directly. So let me think in my head. Hmm. West would be over towards... Yeah, that's in the glacial basin for sure. Okay. I guess that's where we're going. And it's snowing. That's great. Well, back to the glacial basin. There must have been something else. Uh, am I just going back to see another? I'm confused. I'm confused because this is where I already got the skin, right? I mean, it's not exactly at Fire Robotics. It's kind of out. To, and it's pretty much. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking it's kind of uh, bringing me back to where I've already been. But I have to get the objective anyways because I did things in the wrong order. I'm dumb. I did it bad. I'm sorry. Oh, hi, hi, bud. I'm sorry once again. I'm I'm a cruel human being. Looking like we're at the edge. Yep. Okay. Let's see. What's up above the water? Yeah, I know where we are. Okay. We're cool. Hello, Arctic Gray. You're also cool. Everybody's cool here. Yeah. What am I talking about? Everybody's cool. I ain't seen somebody yet who ain't so cool. Alright. So it's looking like it's a little past the bridge. So let's head over here. Hopefully, we can get our little frog feet up on these steps. And frog feet for the win! Yes! Come on, Bopo, you've got this. I believe in you. We're here together. Alright. Architect Artifact Z13. Sounds very fancy. We only need one more piece before we can build him a, a new habitat. A habitable body. Looks like it's in this cave. Have I not been over here? It's underneath the bridge, so chances are I have not. Well, this is a new exciting place to explore. Alright. Oh, this is definitely a no prawn suit zone. So let's not get him stuck in the wall. We'll just jump on out and... Okay. Let's be safe. Who knows what could be in here. Another ion cube, I think. Oof. Contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Oh. Whoa. This is cool. What are these, like, servers? They kind of look like a human server room. But different. Energy generators. Oh, so this is a power plant. Okay. Cool. What's this? Silver. Oh, I'll take silver and copper. Yeah. Sure. More iron cubes. I'm thinking I'm going to need a whole bunch of these in the future. Probably the very near future, too. Oh, this is exciting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's so cool in here when the lights are off. It's like a starry night sky. I can't see anything, so I'm going to turn the light back on. Dark and spooky in there. I don't like it. Okay, well, we got that. That's that done. Now I guess we have to wait for him to contact us again with the whereabouts of a new piece. But, I think we're going to go back home. I need to try and figure out how to upgrade the prawn suit to Mark III Depth Module because there's farther down we can go, and I want to go there. But, I'm pretty sure that the Depth Module Mark III is the deepest that we can go, and there's nothing deeper than that. So, we're almost at the max depth, which means we'll probably be able to go to the bottom of the sea soon. Let's see if Alan's going to talk to us. Chances are he will. But I need to find out. I'm going to at least check the recipe so I can start looking for the bits to make it. Because I want to I want to be able to go anywhere. 
I don't like limitations. Thank you. You got anything for me, Alan? Alright, not yet. Guess he needs a little more time. Alright, modification station. What do you need? Death module mark three, kyanite, nickel ore. I might actually be able to do that right now. Oh, well, I definitely have some nickel ore in the cab of Bopo. And I'm pretty sure I've got two kyanite somewhere. One nickel ore? Uh-oh. Let's take all this out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I still got that guy's symbiote. <laughs> it's a trophy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm never mind. I'm not gonna put that in my aquarium. I feel like it'd probably be a, a bad thing. Can I cook it? I wonder, can I cook you? I can cook the symbiote. <laughs> Take that. Whatever that Leviathan is called, if you even are a Leviathan. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, come on. Give me the good news. Do we have any nickel ore? It's kind of looking like that's a no. We do have kyanite. These ion cubes have a power meter next to them. Are these just straight up batteries? I don't think so. I think not. Well, we've got lots of quartz now. That's good. Now, I found that nickel ore on my last expedition. If I'm remembering correctly. Hmm. So, it must have been at the red area, right? I don't know. I'm remembering that I found it, but I'm not remembering where. So I think I'm gonna head back to that spot, give it a check, see what's up, and uh, then come back and Alan will probably have something for us. This is the place. Let's take a dive. Keep my eyes open for anything at all. I'm not certain this is the place I'm looking for. Not really certain at all. Um, but I know I, I found nickel ore recently. It was in Bopo. I just have to try and remember where. And I'm thinking it was here, in the red area. So, I mean, it's no harm looking anyways. So. But this isn't exactly where I wanted to be. I wanted to go down to, uh... Well, I mean, I guess it was either here in the red area or in the blue area. And I know that there is a direct connection to the blue area from right over here. So, might as well, I guess, take a look around. Let's just, uh, fix, the d fix up the dude. Gotta make sure he's all ready to go because these guys can, uh, these guys hurt. Shadow Vivans. But I'm not really, uh, I'm not really worried because I know how to avoid them pretty good. What? What kind of rock is that? Is it unscanned? Is that why it's just saying break rock? Hey, could you, uh, go away? Go away. Because I need to go out and scan that. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. That's one way of going away. Now, where's that rock? Did it go away? Did I break the rock? Did I step on it? Did I push it into the ground? Ah. I killed him over nothing. I'm sorry. Are you sitting on it? <laughs> you might be sitting on it. Let's take a look. Anything? 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 Nope. I think it's, uh, it's gone. Might as well take it, because that's a rare resource. It only comes from down here. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, 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 that's what the rock was. It was his food. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> he was just eating peacefully. Aw, now I feel bad. Whoa. Where does that go? Oh, hi. Uh-oh. I'm gonna stand on top of you. Oh, come on. I was above you. Come on. Not for that. I'm not for that. Oops. Now I'm standing on top of you. Let me go, please. Where... Where does that lead? Go away. 
That goes down really far. I'm pretty sure that would be out of my depth. Hmm. Curious. That is fascinating. Well, I'm not thinking that the nickel ore came from here. I'm not thinking that. Maybe I should go check out the mining site. There might be a deposit there. Probably not, honestly. Well, we'll give that a look. Then we'll head back to home and Alan will probably have something to say. I'm guessing it was probably in the red area then. Well. We know where to go next then. But first we're gonna head home, see what Alan has to say, because I'm pretty sure he'll have dialogue now. And if not, then we'll go to the red area. Simple as that. Now I'm remembering, I can't get out this way with my prawn suit, right? I have to go back. Okay. That's fair. Please, please talk to me. I have detected an energy signature of some strength. Mm. I am not sure what it is for. Go ahead and share it. Can't hurt. No, can't. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Um, See it's really... Oop, 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 oop. I understand. Don't worry Locking about me. I uh, want more. Uh, it's getting to the point where it's kind of hard to, uh, differentiate between all these beacons. So, let's see. Can I, uh... We don't need you. You guys are not visible. Okay, good. Okay, so... I'm assuming that is the new one, right? N6M. I don't think I've done that one yet. Okay, good. Right. That's our objective. Look at all these bladderfish. And I thought I'd need a second tank for these guys. Silly me. I'll grab some more water and then we'll head out for that. Now, what direction is that? Kind of close to... It's way past Delta Station. Okay. So this might be someplace new. Some place that I actually didn't go and jump the gun on. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's head out. Okay. It's dark. It's scary out. That's okay. I'm a brave man. So that seems like it's deep down. It's way deep down. Okay. Cool. Oh. So it might, uh, it might not actually be way past Delta Station. It might just be way below Delta Station. That's fine. Okay, straight down from here. Not exactly sure where I am. Let's see, what's around me? We've got the jellyfish. Okay, so pile slots some position is there. My base is there. Delta station is there to the north of me. Okay. I've got an idea of where I am. Whoa, this is... What? The, hold on a second. What? Jaw. Oh, that's horrifying. What is that? Wait a second. Is that a giant jellyfish? I don't like those sounds. Is it moving? What? What is that? What is that? Was that you? I don't think you would make such a sound. Okay. Let's go take a look at this thing. Holy cow. Whoa. Oh, it's just you. Alright, whatever. What in the world? I can stand on it. I'm gonna step on your eye. I'm sorry. Holy cow. Why is there just a giant jellyfish just chilling here? Oh, it looks like he's feeding from this vent thing here. Probably would be a bad idea to swim over to its mouth. 
Holy moly, that's cool. That's really cool. And it's all like hooked onto the ground here. <laughs> this thing is massive. Can I scan it? Vent garden? Odd. Doesn't look like a garden to me. Listen to this music. That's cool. Alright. It's not exactly a safe place. So let's not hang around outside. What are you? Arrow ray. All these new fish. Alright, well, we've got some caves here. It's looking like this is where I'm going. Let's take a look around. It goes down. Alright. We got some thermal activity. It's gonna get hot. Ooh, it's pink down here. Weird. Alright, where's my beacon? Down. Down even more. Alright, so what have we got here? You look like a thermal plant, right? Yeah, that's all thermal plant stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. 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 This is a lot of things. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a look. We got a box here. What are you? Booster tank. What? That's new as of this game. And a PDA. Whoa. What? There I was. 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand ripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I'd near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void. Just me and ocean. Nothing else. Whoa. So she must have been here. That's really cool. She's talking about more how she uh, fought the Leviathan. That's insane. She is totally insane. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Hi. <laughs> this is so close to Marguerite's base. <laughs> oh no, now I feel like a dum dum. Oh no, don't do that to me. Oh, whatever. Looks like we might be on the right trail now. Wait, no. Does that lead back to the giant guy? Is this the same giant guy? Are there multiple giant guys? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's just check. I might be real dumb here. I can't see anything. I don't think so. I think there's multiple. I hope I'm not getting my prawn suit stuck. This is really... Yes, this is this is definitely different. Here we are. Okay. Could provide useful information. I imagine it could. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Whoa, it's like a mining head. New technology acquired. Yep. Sea truck teleport. What? Wait, hold on. What? Tether tool? Huh? Say again. Tether tool. And sea truck teleportation module. Where are you? 
<gasps> oh. That is amazing. That's so good. So you can make that, put it on your sea truck, and then you can teleport back to it with the tether tool. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. So cool. That's, that's really, really cool. Now I just need to have a docking module for the sea truck and then I'll be able to take it around. See, the thing is I've got a few modules unlocked for it, but most of them, the really good ones, are still locked. And I need to discover how to get them. Does this just drop off into infinity? Wait, is this the... Is this this game's uh, equivalent to the... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's the dead zone, isn't it? Or whatever it was called in the first one. It just drops to infinity. And there's tons of leviathans down there and they just eat you alive. Nope. Not today. Maybe there's something down there, but I'm not confident enough. The sea truck, I mean, the, the prawn suit just falls down to infinity. I'd need the sea truck to go down there so I can swim back up. Nope, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. Not right now. Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans Golf vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Ah! I, um, I just found something. I just found this. Did it say it was a piece of the Mercury 2? The bow? Was the Mercury 2 cut in half? Whoa. How can I miss such big things? I'm a big dumb. Oh. Do I have a door? Do I have a door? Ooh, a door. Let's see. Alright. Taking a trip into this. What do we got? Lily pad root. Cool. Um. Green turnium. Tur turnion? Green turnion. Like an onion, but turnion. Cut open, cut open. There we go. What is that? <gasps> Synthetic fibers. Yes! I can make the module now. Unless I need nickel ore for it. I'd really wish this game would tell me where the uh, materials to make synthetic fibers is instead of giving me so much synthetic fibers. Ooh, another nuclear reactor rod. But that's fine. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Do I need the propulsion cannon here? I do, don't I? Hmm. There's a box there. That's like one of the, uh, the pieces to what that, whatever that thing was called. The thing that caused me so much trouble that I was trying to find years ago. Alright, Alan, speak to me. Yes. Why do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like uh, this just might be another story. I don't know. It just happens. No, important memories. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you. If you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, it can be sad. On a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. But we do have written and oral histories. History is interpreted, and memories are not perfect. This is true, but it's what we have. We try to learn from history, some of us more than others. Memory is complex. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. 
What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. I hope as we continue to discover these artifacts, my connection will get stronger. You know, I'm, I, I've been, uh, while well, I was listening to them talk, I've been looking around and seeing, I have been <laughs> misreading these ingredients a lot. It's the C-Truck Death Module Mark III that needs this. The Prawn Suit Death Module Mark III just needs two nickel ore. Which is still sad because I only have one. I'm very sad. And also, nothing takes the synthetic fibers. I don't know what I needed those for. <laughs> uh, wait, no. Oh, I remember what I needed them for. It was this guy right here. Okay, that's good at least. So I have him when I need it. But I don't right now, especially because they didn't give me any coordinates. That is, um, okay, we're gonna put this over here. You go in there. Okay, well, given the lack of a, uh, coordinate, I'm pretty sure that we're extremely close. Next time he talks, it's probably going to be the last piece of the, uh, crafting recipe for his, um, body, and it'll probably just be amount of time. If I stand around the base long enough, he'll probably start talking. But, I've been recording for quite a while already, so, probably in the next episode, that's what we're gonna be getting to right off the bat. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Subnautica Below Zero. If you did, leave a like, and if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more Subnautica and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.